Now the procedure of getting metal from its ore is different for different metals and that depends on their reactivity. That means a different procedure is followed for those which are most reactive, different for the least reactive metals and different for those which are in the middle of the series. So let us see the procedure according to their reactivity. Now those which are least reactive, gold and silver out of them are present in free state. Since these are least reactive, they do not react and do not form any compound. So they are present as it is, that is as gold and silver. So these are found in their pure state, while other elements are present in combined state. Because they react with something or the other from the atmosphere and form compounds. And so the whole procedure has to be done for those metals which are found in combined state. Now let me take an example of, let me take mercury, low reactivity. I have taken mercury as an example. Now the ore for mercury is HGS. That is mercuric sulfide. This is the ore. So the procedure starts like this. Since it is found in sulfide form and what I want out of it is pure mercury, can I reduce it? The answer is no. It cannot be reduced since this process of reduction of HGS to HG is not feasible. So what do I do? It is in the first step converted into HGO that is into its oxide form. Now as I said mostly ores will be present as oxides, carbonates or sulfides. Here we found that this is present in the sulfide form. But it is very easy to reduce oxides into metals than sulfide into metal. And so, and thus the sulfide form of mercury is first converted into its oxide form by reacting it with oxygen in the presence of heat. Let me make it more clear. See, now the first step is to convert sulfide into oxide and that is done by reacting it with oxygen in the presence of heat. Now here I get HGO and SO2. In the next step, reduction takes place and the oxide can be reduced to metal by using any reducing agent. Here I have used coke in this case, you can use any reducing agent and convert the oxide into metal. Now this is the process that is followed for metals of low reactivity. Let us see what happens with metals like these which are present in the middle of the series. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos.